Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be demonstrating this custom model I made of the Hollywood Tower Hotel, or as it's better known as the Tower of Terror. This attraction used to reside in Disneyland's California Adventure Park. This model I made is roughly three feet tall and features a working elevator. When I started this project over a year ago, I wanted something that featured a moving elevator because most models I've seen are just of the outside and doesn't feature any moving parts. As you can see, the elevator actually comes up and goes back down automatically. The doors and lighting are controlled by the main motor that drives the elevator, and all of it's controlled using relays instead of a programmed Arduino or Raspberry Pi. All of the hotel's functions are linked to this power switch here, so you can turn on and off all the lighting, and there's also a speaker wired to this auxiliary cord inside the hotel. And that's a motor control switch. And then the elevator dial is wired to a regular phone jack so that you could have the elevator dial pretty much anywhere you would like. This elevator call button is modeled off of what the DCA uh, Tower of Terror buttons look like in the lobby. And it uses a lighted doorbell as the button trigger. And it, since it's wired on to a phone jack, you can actually wire it and have it anywhere you like in your house, and it would actually trigger the elevator to go up. Conveniently, the elevator returns to its homing position automatically, and the doors are all linked to that as well. So as you can see, I recreated the neon sign, very similar to how it used to look in DCA. All of the letters are carved out of cardboard or aluminum, and they were modeled off of a picture of the actual neon sign. The entire sign uh, took me about two weeks to fully construct, and I'm also very happy with how the W turned out as I was trying to make it look exactly how the attraction used to, where it would flash on and off. This sign was definitely one of the more tricky challenges I faced when I was building this model, as all the little turns and solder joints were very hard to fit in such a small space. In a future update of this model, I also might add lightning effects. That was in my original plans, but I haven't actually accomplished that yet. Here, as you can see, is a fully illuminated lobby model that I made. Also a tricky feature that I put in is the actual stained glass window. And you can actually remove the roof. It's not exactly sealed yet, and it still needs more shingles. Also if you look, I created a authentic looking chandelier, which is modeled off of one of the DCA types. Depending on the location of the tower, whether it be Florida, DCA, or Paris, they have different lighting in the lobby. So it actually looks almost identical to one of the actual chandeliers, and it's fully working. I plan to add more lighting on the inside of the lobby, as well as adding lanterns to the front columns. Another part of this model is I created an actual working fountain that is again to scale with the rest of the hotel, and it has a working fiber optic Twilight Zone Tower of Terror effect that the actual sign used to have. That took uh, about eight hours to just get the fiber optics to work correctly. And also on this fountain, you can actually turn it on and it has a working fountain pump. Even though the actual attraction never featured actual running water, this is just an effect I wanted to have. The computer board I used for this was actually taken from a Christmas uh, light up candle fountain. I'm pretty happy with the end result and it features actual Playmobil plants in the top there if you look. The whole thing is constructed from various plastics, hot glue, silicone, and then different paints. And it has actual running lights underwater and working lights on the columns. This is similar to what I'm going to have on the actual columns on the hotel. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, 
If you have any questions or comments regarding this model, just let me know down in the comment section, and I'm glad to answer any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching this video, and be sure to check out the other videos on my channel.